Hey guys. guys! Welcome to the Press of the Blanks channel. My name is Marjorie. And I'm Elmer. And today we will be doing a 25 questions that you will be providing to us and we'll be answering. <laughs> it's so funny. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so. You want to read them? or I'll read them. You could read a couple and then I'll read them. What is your full name and are you proud of it? Um, My full name is Marjorie Edith Perez and I am proud of it. I'm not going to lie, when I was younger, I didn't really like it because people didn't know how to pronounce my name. But now that I'm older, I just love it. My full name is Elmer Andres Perez, and yes, I am proud of it. Okay, what's the next question? Next question, what does your name mean? So, my name is Marjorie, and it stands for a hidden pearl, which is actually a really nice meaning behind it. I don't know what my name means, but I know, but I know my middle name means they found it in an advertisement. That it was actually was. a commercial where this kid fell off a swing, and his name was Andres, and we thought it was really cute. All right, next question: What is your net? Wait, are you named after anyone? I am named after my father, so he's a junior, Elmer Junior. But we distinguish both of them. We call him Andres and my dad just Elmer Sr. Um, my name, my name, nobody else has my name, but my middle name I got from my mom. What is your nationality? Our nationality is from Guatemala. So we're Guatemalan. Yes. Which of your parents are you more like? I'm more of like my mom. I'm more sentimental and emotional. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm more like my father. Um, we've got a very strong character. We are very, very strict. And you can ask him that. We're super, super strict. And more than anything, we're very dependent. We learn how to do everything on our own. We don't depend on others. And if there's something that's broken, we just sit down and get it fixed until it's fixed. Mm -hmm. And you're a sister. <laughs> what relative was important to you growing up and why? Okay, so the relative that was more important to me, I mean, was very important to me, was my grandfather. Um, when my parents were at work, he was there to provide for me. He taught me how to tie my shoes. He just taught me to be independent myself. The relative that was most important to me growing up was my mom because my dad would used to work a lot. And he still does. Yeah. Next question. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? So, actually, very interesting. I actually found this out today. So, if I would have been a girl, I mean, if I would have been a, a boy, my name would have been Kevin Alexander. Um, I love the name Kevin. I'm glad I'm a girl, though. Um, but usually the names Kevin's come from troublemakers, even though I have a cousin named Kevin. Here, Kevin. This goes for you. Uh, my parents said I was supposed to be a girl, and my name was supposed to be Catherine Anais. I actually helped create that because a doctor had told us that there was a very big possibility it would be a girl. But when it came to the actual labor day, he came out to be a boy, so... What inspires you? What inspires me is um, music, but then also just the creativity. Um, also another thing that inspires me is the gym, kind of like motivate myself, stay fit. Um, when I was younger, I used to be pretty big, so I got myself into all these sports, and sports have been pretty much my life ever since then. Uh, what inspires you? Oh, when you still have an answer to that one. <laughs> uh, what inspires me is music and art. That's true. Who is your favorite celebrity? My favorite celebrity is Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. And if you haven't seen the two movies with them, which would be Just Go With It, that's my all-time favorite movie, then the second one would be... Blended. No, it wasn't Blended, but I mean, you should look it up. Definitely worth it. Best Actors. Not the best. Oh, 50 that, well, the, they are the best actors, yeah. but there's also more. But to me, those are like amazing. Uh, 
And for me, uh, Adam Sandler and uh, Manhattan Your Therapist. Manhattan Your Therapist is a really good one, too. What type of music do you like? I love country music. Everybody knows that I love country music. There's just something about it. Um, it's very, like, peaceful. Um, there's more meaning to it behind it. But to be honest, I can also listen to, like, Today's Hits Radio just don't give me vulgar music because I'm not going to sit down and just listen to what they're saying. My favorite type of music is anything in the radio. What is your favorite song and favorite singer? My favorite song that was and still is and will always be will be Tequila by Dan and Shay. If you guys don't know who Dan and Shay is, please do yourself a favor and look them up. I promise you guys won't regret it. They're the most humble people, um, along with, well, they're country singers, but you could also find Thomas Rhett and Luke Combs are pretty awesome country singers. Uh, my favorite song is Russian Roulette, not by Jennifer Lopez, and my favorite singer is Chain The Chainsmokers. Smokers. They're pretty good, yeah. yeah. What is your favorite drink? My favorite drinks are pina coladas. They don't necessarily have to have alcohol in it, but I like the regular ones and I can drink on them all the time. My favorite drink is the freezes from Taco Bell, like the strawberry skittle freeze. Oh, you and your Taco Bell. <laughs> what is your favorite snack and food? I love the purple Doritos, and to be honest, I think I got him into them. Um, they're phenomenal. My favorite pizza, I love Italian food, hence Italian food like pizza. Everything Italian. Uh, my favorite snack is uh, hot Cheetos. They're really good. And my favorite food would have to be a burrito or a hamburger. Uh, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sports is soccer. I do love every type of sports. Keep in mind, I did play like every single one in high school. So whatever sport is good, I just like to be in shape and continue to be an athlete. My favorite sport has to be soccer. Do you still play soccer? Yes, but due to the quarantine, I can't. Yeah, it's <clears throat> limiting us on going to the gym or doing our sports. Are you a fan of any sports teams? Yes, the Yankees. Um, also, we are really big fans of the Hartford, Hartford Wolf Packs, Packs, which is a hockey team. And um, there's also other good teams out there, but those would be a favorite. I like Juventus, too, a soccer team. Uh, do you have any pets? We have one pet. And his is, name is Tweety. You'll probably hear him in the background because he likes to talk to himself sometimes. <laughs> He's a green and yellow parakeet. Yes. Ooh. And if you want to know a fun fact about Tweety, he loves eating chips. Especially the blue ranch. Doritos, yeah. Uh, what are your hobbies? Hobbies? Yes. My hobbies is art. Playing a sport or like going outside and going on my bike or playing not ping, playing ping pong. That's true. We actually just set up our ping pong table in our garage so we we're able to go in there, especially being under quarantine. We've been going in there and playing. Um, it's just when it's cold weather, we don't really feel like going out there. If it's cold, we play Xbox and I also like singing. Um, my favorite hobbies would be Zumba. Um, when I do go to the gym, we do kickboxing. He actually joins with me. Um, but I also do boot camp, um, which is pretty t intense, but it's so worth it. Um, hobbies. I am an interior designer. I got my certification in it. So I like to do projects at home, designing, as you can see the background here. Um, all of this has been done by me. Um, what is at the top of your bucket list? So, to be honest, we started our bucket list beginning like within the last year and a half. Um, the two best trips that we've had so far would be Florida and New Hampshire. Those were like amazing. But we do want to explore other things eventually. So our bucket list will consist of going to Bora Bora. 
Hawaii. Hawaii and Italy. Right now is definitely not a good time, um, but when everything does get better, we do plan on eventually going to Italy. One of my things on top of my bucket list is going to a wolf sanctuary. I really love wolves. He's obsessed with wolves. Okay. Um, let's see. What's the next question? What is your favorite animal and why? And you can go first. My favorite animal is a wolf because they're strong animals and they're interesting. Yes, they are. And they're very scary. Yeah. No, but they're very cute. They kind of look like huskies. Um, my favorite animal, so I have two. The first one would be a mammal, which lives in the water, and that's a dolphin. They are the most peaceful, peaceful types of animals, and they're just so very caring, and that's what I love about them. And the second would be, I love deer. Okay, next question. Do you want to have a business? Of course we want to have a business. So right now, um, the job that I have is fine, and I actually did work in the operating before. Those That was definitely not my career, but as you, you are aware, I am an interior designer. So when he does finish the schooling, which uh, we plan on getting him an advanced preparation, we do plan on opening our businesses. So our business, so he could be the architecture and I could be the interior designer. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go from there. Anything else you'd like to add to that? No. Um, do you have siblings and how many? Uh, we are the only two siblings. Yeah, so it's just him and I. If we were to talk about like cousins that are really siblings to us, it would be like Kevin, Kevin, and Anali. Yep, they they are considered like our brother and sister, even though they're not. Um, what is your favorite show or shows? So mine would be Stranger Things. I am a very big Stranger Things. Like I even have the decal on my car. And then the second one would be The Office. I also love watching The Friends. I've gotten that from from Kevin watching <clears throat> Friends. Um, the Society is a really good show. Keep in mind, I love Stranger Things. It's very similar. And I watch anime. My favorite animes are My Hero Academia, Haikyuu, and Sword Art Online. Okay, question number 23. What is your nickname? So my nickname is Marge. That's just my nickname that goes by my family. Um, someone else calls me that. I <laughs> get a little bit, um, how would I describe it? Uh, I'm like, no, thank you. That's more of like my family. Cause that's, you know, what they came up with. Other people can call me Margie. That's for sure. Um, some people call me Pina Colada because I am obsessed with Pina Coladas. Um, and that's the only thing I can think of. The nicknames I have is, sorry, Edith. When my mom gets mad at me or anything serious, she goes, Edith, get over here. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, my nicknames in the house or like with family is Andres or Andresito. Sometimes, I know some people that usually call me Hyperwolf because that's like my gaming t tag. Yeah. I think the reason too why we call you Andresito is just kind of like a sweeter way to say Andres. And like in our kind of culture, when you add like the ito to the end of a name, it's just kind of like a more innocent way. Like my name is Marjorie, so if you say Marjorita, like you're just kind of referring to me as like the little Marjorie or like the sweet little innocent Marjorie, just something I thought you might like find interesting. Um, question 24, what languages do you speak? I speak English and I speak Spanish. I speak Spanish, I speak English, and I do speak a little bit of Italian. I took that in high school and went up to Yukon courses, so I'm able to listen to what other people are speaking in Italian, and I can also defend myself. Last question for the day would be, are you going to be a strict parent or a cool one? So keep in mind, a lot of people think that because of our age differences, people think that I'm his mom. and. Even though I'm not, I am like the very like strict person, um, very strict with him, and he can tell you that himself. Yeah. So the reason why I'm, I'm like that is because that's the way I was raised. So not necessarily my mom, but my father was always like very strict on me. So when I do plan on having my own family and I find my significant other and get married, um, I plan on being like the cool parent. 
But then at the same time, you need to be disciplinary when it comes to your kids. You need to be strict. I don't want to go too strict, but um, I don't know. We were just always taught to be very respectful of others. I want to be a cool parent, but at the same time, I also want to be a little bit strict. Because I don't want them growing up and to be like rude to other people. Exactly. So I think in the long run, besides the fact that our parents were like very strict on us and I'm still very strict with them, I think it's been beneficial in a lot of ways and I'm very grateful for that. So these are the 25 questions, guys. Um, I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and share. And thank you guys for watching. Press the notification bell and if you have any other questions for us, leave it in the comments. Thanks, guys, for watching the Press Siblings channel. Have a great day. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.